Denzel Washington is officially joining the MCU. Only give it a push. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Denzel himself confirmed the news, even if Marvel Studios hasn't made it official just yet. I caught this clip from the Today Show, where Denzel revealed he's set to play a role in Marvel Studios' Black Panther 3. After that, Ryan Coogler is writing a part for me in the next Black Panther. Now seriously, who wouldn't want to see Denzel Washington in Black Panther 3, right? This franchise has done wonders, but let's be real. It's still healing from the loss of Chadwick Boseman, who passed away four years ago. Adding an icon like Denzel into the mix? I'm feeling pretty optimistic about the surprises Marvel's cooking up. In this video, we're diving into some roles Denzel might play in Black Panther 3. But first, make sure you're subscribed because we're covering everything MCU, superheroes, and so much more. And trust me, you don't want to miss any of it. All right, let's get into it. I'm really beginning to like this place. So Denzel Washington recently made a statement about Ryan Coogler writing a role for him in Black Panther 3. And that's not something to take lightly. For those who missed it, this came out during an online interview with The Today Show while Denzel was promoting Gladiator 2. The latest from Ridley Scott, where Denzel stars as Macrinus, a complex historical figure from the Roman Empire. In Gladiator 2, Ridley Scott is clearly putting his trust in Denzel to bring this powerful character to life. Honestly, I was a little shocked at first to hear he'd taken on a big new role. A few months back, just before the release of Gladiator 2, Denzel actually hinted that he didn't see many roles left for him in film. And considering he's almost 70, I thought he might be planning to retire. If you remember, I even made a video about it, and you can find the link up in the corner of this video. Now, just months after that statement, we hear he's joining the MCU. Clearly, Marvel Studios has given him something special enough to come out of potential retirement and take on a new challenge. For an actor of Denzel Washington's caliber, it probably wasn't easy to get him on board. He's a two-time Oscar winner with 10 Academy Award nominations under his belt. He's not about to take on a role that doesn't live up to his legacy. And honestly, if Black Panther 3 wasn't going to be a major moment with serious potential, we'd probably already have seen him in a superhero movie by now. This alone is a great sign that Black Panther 3 is being crafted with quality and substance in mind. Right now, we haven't received any official announcements or release dates from Marvel Studios about Black Panther 3, but having Denzel in the cast is a massive boost for the MCU. He's got that special reputation. If Denzel's in a movie, you just know it's going to be worth watching. Bringing in a heavyweight like him builds up even more excitement and credibility for Marvel, adding to a roster that's already packed with talent. Denzel might not have been in the superhero scene much, but everyone knows him. He started with the TV series Saint Elsewhere as Dr. Philip Chandler back in the 80s, which opened the door to a career full of standout roles. His breakout performance came with glory in 1989, where he won his first Oscar for playing a Union soldier during the Civil War, a role still remembered as one of cinema's most powerful. From Malcolm X to Training Day, Remember the Titans, Man on Fire, American Gangster, Fences, and the Equalizer series, Denzel's career has been nothing short of legendary. He's also taken on directing, with acclaimed films like Antoine Fisher, The Great Debaters, Fences, and The Equalizer 2. Amid all the positive news of Marvel Studios doubling down on quality, continuity, and character depth, this is easily the most exciting development for me so far. Marvel's getting back on track, and adding Denzel to the MCU is just the boost we've been waiting for. <laughs> the exciting out. news of Denzel Washington joining the MCU is still a bit of a mystery, though, as Marvel Studios hasn't made an official announcement yet. So naturally, everyone's buzzing with guesses and theories. The big question is, what character could Denzel play in Black Panther 3? All right, I've been thinking through some of the ideal roles that would suit Denzel's powerful, emotional acting style. And there are a lot of options, especially with the multiverse in play. Thanks to that, any character can have alternate versions across universes, meaning Denzel could bring his own unique take to an established Marvel character. If Marvel is going for a hero role, I think Adam Brasher, aka Blue Marvel, would be the perfect match for Denzel. Blue Marvel is a veteran superhero in the comics, incredibly powerful and age-wise, he'd align well with Denzel. Created by Kevin Grevue, Blue Marvel first appeared in Adam Legend of the Blue Marvel in 2008 
the character is a former Marine Corps officer, a scientist, and a powerhouse with abilities comparable to Hulk, Sentry, and Thor. So what can Blue Marvel do? He can absorb energy from matter-antimatter annihilation, giving him immense strength, durability, and speed. He can survive nuclear explosions, travel at supersonic speeds, and even control energy to create powerful blasts and energy constructs. He ages slower than regular humans, which makes him pretty much timeless. And as a Marine, he's got serious combat training on top of all that raw power. However, there's one issue here. If Denzel is seriously thinking of retiring soon, bringing in a character like Blue Marvel might be challenging since the MCU would likely want to include him in multiple projects. If Black Panther 3 was just a one-off for Blue Marvel, that'd be a bit of a waste, right? But hey, if Marvel can get Denzel to commit to a few more appearances, he'd be amazing as Blue Marvel. If Denzel prefers a smaller but meaningful role, there's Bashenga, a character rooted in Wakandan mythology. Bashenga was the first Black Panther, and he's already appeared briefly in the 2018 Black Panther movie during a historical montage. Given Denzel's connection to Chadwick Boseman, who once credited Denzel with helping him attend a summer acting program by covering his tuition, having Denzel play Bashenga in the ancestral plane, guiding Shuri, would be incredibly powerful and emotional for fans. On the other hand, if Denzel wants to explore his villainous side, Achebe could be a wild and complex choice. Achebe is a cunning Black Panther villain with a twisted sense of humor and a dark, manipulative personality. He's unpredictable and even talks to a puppet in the comics, which would give Denzel plenty of room to bring out his range. Achebe also had help from Mephisto. And since Mephisto is rumored to appear in Ironheart, there could be a solid crossover opportunity if Achebe were to surface in Black Panther 3. There are even more roles that could work. Denzel as Norman Osborn in a multiverse storyline, for example, could dive into a narrative about Wakanda's vibranium catching the attention of the Green Goblin across dimensions. Or he could play Magneto, introducing the mutant storyline in a big way. We could even see Denzel as a different Black Panther, thanks to the multiverse concept, or perhaps as Morlin, a powerful villain known for hunting down different versions of Spider-Man. Other characters that come to mind are Dr. Voodoo, or the Shadow King, each bringing something new to the MCU. Or hey, Marvel could go all out and create an original character just for Denzel. With a fresh character, he'd have the flexibility to explore a role tailored to his talents, letting him fit into the MCU in a way that's totally his own. Yeah, this thought crossed my mind too. Marvel Studios hasn't officially announced anything, so we're still looking at a 50-50 chance here. But like I said earlier, I can't see Denzel dropping a statement like that just for MCU marketing hype. He's not that kind of guy. His reputation is far too solid and genuine for gimmicks like this. The part that worries me, though, is the possibility that Denzel might only play a supporting role, even if he'd still make an impact. His presence would definitely raise the stakes for Black Panther 3 and hype up fans for future MCU projects. But if he's truly considering retirement, this might be a one and done for him. On the other hand, if he's open to more, then there's no doubt. Denzel could make a lasting mark in the MCU. Marvel's got a way of elevating characters and even helping mid-tier actors reach new heights. Now this is Denzel we're talking about, a name and talent already at the peak of the industry. Marvel Studios would have every reason to give him the space to shine in a major role. That said, I'm a little unsure because Denzel's statement might just be an early stage discussion with Marvel. It's still not final. Recently, Marvel had several opportunities to make a big announcement, even releasing two new trailers, including Captain America Brave New World, set to premiere in February 2025. Yet Kevin Feige hasn't mentioned Denzel's name in any of the upcoming plans. But regardless, I'm one of those fans genuinely excited about the idea of Denzel joining the MCU. I'm all in for it, and I'm saying it here. I'd fully support seeing him step into this world. How about you all? While Denzel Washington joining the MCU would definitely open new doors for Marvel Studios, especially in Black Panther 3, this isn't a straightforward decision. Financially, Denzel is a high-cost actor, and Marvel already has quite a few big names on its roster. 
Plus, there's the question of whether his role would enhance the current continuity of the MCU or shake it up. That's a big factor to consider. The MCU isn't a simple cinematic universe. Every character is connected, and it takes years to build fan investment in these storylines. Bringing in Denzel is exciting, but it's also a new challenge for Marvel. Remember, Marvel Studios even went as far as bringing back Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom because of his deep connection with fans. So Denzel's star power alone isn't the only thing Marvel has to think through. There's still a lot to work out. But hey, that's up to Marvel Studios. What about you? Are you as hyped as I am for the possibility of Denzel making his MCU debut? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments. And if you've stayed with me this far, I'm guessing we share the same MCU and superhero obsession. I'll keep updating you all right here on this channel, so I hope you're subscribed so you won't miss our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.